On Boeing, the rudder limits itself mechanically. On Airbus, it's all computers. So, would you rather trust physics or code? On most Boeing jets, including the 737, 747, 767 and 777, rudder pedal input is connected to a rudder travel limiter, which adjusts mechanically based on airspeed. As speed increases, the system gradually reduces rudder deflection range, preventing over-control and structural stress. The pilot still has direct mechanical feel, and the limiter operates via hydraulic or cable tension logic, not computers. Airbus takes a fully digital approach. There's no direct linkage between the pedals and the rudder surface. Instead, inputs are routed through the flight control computers which dynamically limit rudder deflection based on airspeed, flap setting and flight phase. The computer decides how much rudder you're allowed, even if you fully push the pedal. This comes down to control philosophy. Boeing designs around pilot authority with system safeguards. The limiter is passive, predictable and physics-based. Airbus prioritizes flight envelope protection using sensors and software to prevent dangerous deflections at high speeds, especially in crosswind or engine out conditions. One system lets the pilot push further. The other draws a hard digital line. In a normal flight, both systems feel smooth. But in edge cases, like a crosswind landing or an engine failure after takeoff, the difference matters. On Boeing, you get gradual mechanical resistance. On Airbus, you might hit a software ceiling before the pedals hit the floor. The logic is sound, but for some pilots it's unsettling to be physically blocked by code. So who's got it right? The engineers who trust metal and tension, or the ones who put a processor between you and the tail fin? You decide mechanical logic or digital authority?